Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're going to be in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014, although this technique will work in just about any version of Adobe Premiere that you might have, as long as it's, I'd say, CS3 to CS6, then you're probably in good shape. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working with the three-way color corrector to do some color grading. Now I've already done a color grading tutorial in general, but I want to specifically just take a look at the three-way color corrector for the most part and just show you what I would like to do this piece of footage that I actually have right now. And this is uh, from a cosplay shoot that I did. So I just want to go ahead and show you this seven seconds of footage as is so that you can see it without us adding any color grading. This is just the flat image that we got out of the camera and that's what the footage is. So we want to make that even better and really make that pop. So a quick way that we can do that is the three-way color corrector. Now most of you would just go ahead and drag this right onto your footage and edit. And that's fine in most cases, but you'll notice that I have two clips here. And we want this to be consistent. If we do that, there's a chance that we won't have consistent footage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to new item and we're going to do a new adjustment layer. And then we're going to drag that adjustment layer to a second video track over our footage, extend it to match our timeline, and it's going to lock up there. So now we're going to do that, go to our effect controls with the adjustment layer selected. We're going to drag the three-way color corrector onto the adjustment layer, and I'm going to click undo real quick. I'm going to show you that we could also drag it up here to the effects panel and it'll have the same result. So those are a couple of different options you have for applying any effect from your video effects panel to an adjustment layer. And now this will be consistent across multiple video clips. So that's definitely important. And some of you um, felt that I didn't spend enough emphasis on that in my last color grading tutorial from a year ago. So I wanted to make sure that I call that out. Now we've got shadows, we've got highlights, and we've got midtones. All of these things affect our image. So if I go to highlights here and I adjust this, you can see that the highlights, the white areas become more pink, more, you know, here they become warmer and more yellow, and here they become more cool. Now, we'll just adjust this based on what we think looks good. I'm going to eyeball it for this image, and I want them to be a little cool, and I want them to go more into the blue range. Uh, I want the whole thing to possibly be a bit more cool. Now, I could do the master controls, and I could adjust it there, but I want to do this, you know, I want to eyeball it. I want to do this by hand, and I want to get a look that I like. And I think that that looks interesting so far. So that's kind of nice. But it still feels a little flat. It feels like we don't have enough contrast. So we can adjust some of the tonal range here in terms of the input levels. I can get darks darker. I can get lights lighter. And that's some creating some interesting contrast here. And I can toggle this on and off to see the difference. You see that instead of it being super warm and flat, that now it's a little more punchy and that it's, you know, um, looking very different. So we can do that. The next thing we can do is we can go down here to saturation. I want to bump the saturation overall up considerably because I want more of the color from her hair. So I'm going to do that. And so you can see that the master saturation now pumps that up. And if I remove the adjustment layer, you can see the big difference that makes. So, you know, so that's interesting. Maybe I don't want this quite as cool as it's coming out. Maybe I want to dial that back, so no problem. I'll adjust the midtones a bit. So again, that's all non-destructive. That's, hey, I could do it. And again, it's consistent between this clip and this clip. So that's great. Now we can adjust other things here. We have shadows that we can adjust. And that gets a little complicated because of the hues. We got master levels in terms of the black point, the white point, and we can adjust these. And as we do, you'll notice changes happen in the image. We could blow this out a lot. And I kind of like a little bit of what that look is doing for this. So 
So again, I think that looks actually really good. So now we have a big difference between what we had before and after now. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this back real quick. And you know what? It's uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is when you have an adjustment layer, the playback in terms of the memory being used, and I'm recording the screen right now, so that's also affecting the performance. Um, you know, it does have an effect. So I had to turn down the quality so that we can, you know, watch this in real time, and that affects it. So again, just understand that like when you're in playback mode, you want to do draft quality. You want to just hear from full to half or to a quarter, and that that's going to give you the ability to play back and see what your stuff looks like just based on how much um, resources you're using. And again, because I'm screen recording, I'm using a tremendous amount of resources right now. I also didn't close out all my other Adobe programs, which I probably should have done. So you can see that that's a big difference in terms of the look that we get from here to here. Now, obviously, there are other things we could do. We could add RGB curves to our adjustment layer, and then we could mess around with that, and you know, we can do different things. You know, we could blow this out even more. We get super dark in here. You know, there's other things we can do, and that we can adjust and create an interesting tonal curve and a look that we like. And I think that actually overall looks better. And again, I know I was supposed to focus just on three-way color corrector, but I wanted to just make the best footage that I can, so that's what I did. And if you don't like it, well, I guess that's too bad. So anyway, that's it for this uh, Adobe Premiere tutorial. So now you've seen how to use the um, three-way color corrector and you know that just to add some context if you need a better overview i do still have a great adobe premiere color grading and color correction tutorial i'll have an annotation link and a link in the description so you can definitely check that out if you guys want to see other premiere pro tutorials for me let me know what you want me to cover in the comment section below and ask me any questions you have about this anyway like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today. And as just a little treat, I'm just going to um, let this play with a little bit of music behind it. And we're going to close out with this seven-second clip. Enjoy. Enjoy.